Hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. Today we're going to do a quick install for a headlight PPF. Uh, we've had some people ask what can we do to protect those headlights, and we did not have a kit for that until now. So what we're looking at here is just a wrap film over that. Just want to share that area again in all of our um, items online. They're shown in red so you know where they go. Um, they do not come in red, we do not cut them in red. Um, so they, again, this is where that will be. That is the shape of that PPF. Uh, what we're using is that Expel Ultimate. So this is a long-term 10-year uh, uh, film for that. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. And again, yeah, on there pretty good. We should also be doing a yellow film shortly for that as well. I know that's becoming pretty popular, so we'll have that on the site as well. With all of our PPF, uh, make sure that area is clean. I just pulled that off, but that alcohol water mix and a clean microfiber rag. Just want to spray that on there. Make sure there's no, no bugs, no dirt, nothing on there. Um, and again, when we apply PPF, it's always going to be soap and water. Um, typically, I think it's a six to eight drops um, of that Dove. We like the Dove soap um, mixed in with uh, water and a 16 ounce bottle. Uh, we should have some of that on the site soon as well, um, but that is the formula. Um, we've got some soap water mix in here. Um, this is kind of hard to see, but that is the driver's side. These are just slightly different driver versus passenger. I'm sure you can make them work for both, but we do want to make sure we're trying to get that the best we can. So we also are going to have these on the site as well. This is a PPF squeegee. You can use those hard squeegees. This just makes it a little, a little bit easier. Um, see if I can show you why on that as well. So, soap liberally. And we're going to make sure your hands are clean. I just sprayed alcohol, kind of cleaned my hands with this. Um, the trick to this is again, just keeping it wet. You do not want those pieces to touch. So I'm going to want to hit that center piece first. I got that all on there. And really just, you're going to line that right up. And this is why it's so important to keep this wet, try to keep your area clean. Do not want to do this outside as well. Um, temperature controlled. This is about 72, 73, 74 in here. Basically, that is just the exact fitment we just had. I'm going to spray that right on top of that again. And I'm going to go ahead and this is really soapy. The more soap, the more that's going to slide around. But to get keep that from from sliding, that's actually good on there now. Keep that slippery. See how easy that is to do. And to get that to stay to show you that here, this really is too much soap in here. As you get those edges, as the water, if you, if you can trap that water out on those edges. Then you can see that's gonna stick a little bit better. And again, it's just that solution is still under there. I still have here and if you're getting a wrinkle you can kind of pull on that a little bit I got a lot of soap under here 
And it will take a little bit of sun, get that outside for that to really set. So you just want to make sure there's no, no bubbles, no wrinkles. typically don't want to pull that back up on that. I couldn't get this little wrinkle back out. So again, just be careful. Make sure you've got that. So this, I think this is just too much soap in here. But that will evaporate out. And once this gets tacky, we can go back on that. I've also got a piece of smoke tent on this. And now that I pulled that up, I've stretched that end a little bit. But once this soap evaporates and this is outside or even just letting this sit for a little bit, you just want to make sure like all that is out. You can see those little this evaporates a little bit then we can tack some of this smaller stuff back down make sure it's make sure it's good soap in here. There are some tricks to this with alcohol and getting a really sticky, getting that to adhere quicker. That's not something I want to do it yourself or to do. So just be patient with this. This really should have gone a little bit easier, but again, I pull that up, reset it. But this will, it'll be totally fine. Once this, had, once this dries up a little bit, we can go back over there and check all those edges and get that little corner there down or you can trim it. But this was stretched when we pulled that back out. Anyway, I wanted to show you how that does go on. Um, I think you got a good idea of how that's gonna be. Um, again, let that sit for a little while before you go back and mess with it. I keep wanting to mess with it, don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's gonna work. Obviously, both headlights as a kit. I believe that's gonna be $75 for the, for the, the pair online. Um, if you have any questions, give us a call. Um, yeah, thank you very much.